All right, so you got Starfield lore explains. Going to be the the recent Starfield Direct gave us plenty of new info about Bethesda's upcoming Saturn game. mixed in amongst the gameplay Stop. reveals. Oh, that's Sarah. How you doing, baby? Plenty picture of Stop. the events, factions, and locations <laughs> that will make up this vast new universe. As with all things Bethesda, Starfield is sure to be rich in story and lore, yeah. with 100,000 worlds for players to visit and over 250,000 lines of dialogue. 100,000 worlds? Skyrim and Fallout 4 combined. So let's delve into an overview of everything we know about the story and universe. 100,000 worlds is absolutely diabolical. So far. Starfield is set approximately 300 years in the future, in the year 2330. By this point, mm. humanity has journeyed beyond the confines of our own planet, establishing colonies on a vast number of new worlds, forming a small pocket of colonized star systems in the Milky Way, known as the Settled Systems. Mm. This newly chartered territory spans about 50 light years from Earth's system of Sol, which by the time of Starfield has regressed into a somewhat dilapidated backwater, quaintly okay. referred to as the Old Neighborhood. The new hub of humanity is located in Alpha Centauri, the closest system to Sol. It's home to the temperate world of Jemison and its sprawling metropolis, New Atlantis. This what thing looks so advanced, bro? It's the towering buildings is the largest ever city constructed by Bethesda in terms of overall size, number of custom assets, crowd sizes, and even the number of quests that can be found there. Founded in 2161, New Atlantis serves as the capital city of an interstellar republic named the United Colonies. Since its mm, founding, I think I've heard it United Colonies before. become the largest and most dominant faction within the settled systems, and it's governed by a council known as the Military Administrative and Bro, how would y'all feel like in the future? Just sure. like being in like and in like a setting like this. Hold law, order, and humanity's legacy above all else, viewing themselves as the true children of Earth. The United Colonies preserve this legacy for a variety of security organizations, including UC Sec, UC Sistev, and UC Vanguard. Serving in the Vanguard, United like Call of Duty, to acquiring United Colony citizenship, and it might even provide an opportunity to serve on one of their many formidable battleships, such okay. as the UC Vigilance. However, New Atlantis is not the only location within the United Colonies. Countless star systems now come under the jurisdiction of this grand what type faction. Of... Among other significant settlements what under insect control, was that? is the Sidonia Mining Colony, located on Mars. And they also possess a number of space bases known as Star Yards. Bro, this whole Things thing just looks amazing, bro. Tense in the United Colonies, however, as the galaxy is still recovering from a bitter war, some 20 years mm. earlier. In 2310, the vicious colony war broke out, an independent struggle between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective, a secessionist okay. confederation of free frontier systems. Although the war concluded with the United Colonies granting the collective their independence, Boy, the I thought that was the Arthur. Two sides remains <laughs> uneasy. Tensions are high, and no one knows what the future holds for Ooh, both hold sides. Up. Based out of their frontier capital of Aquila City, the Free Star Collective are a wild and independent people that possess the second largest military in the settled systems, behind only that of the United States. Imagine like having a beer on like Our Mars second moon, that'd be crazy. And I love the shooting in this game a already. That's not lost on Aquila City's inhabitants, who maintain large walls to deter the fearsome Ashtar. This carnivorous predator, a weird blend of wolf and velociraptor, is just one example of the, the dangerous a velociraptor? that can be encountered in the Starfield universe. The Free Boy, Star Collective's think... autonomy and safety are protected by the Free Star Rangers, based in a facility known as The Rock. These space sheriffs rely on their judgment and insight uh -oh. to uphold peace Ooh. and law within the Collective's territories. Another notable locale within the Free Star Collective's domain is the city of Neon, a pleasure hub city? situated on an unidentified aquatic planet. Originating as a fishing platform, Neon transformed into a sprawling metropolis following the discovery of a psychedelic drug derived from a local fish species. And what, today, what type Neon of... is now a bustling, crime-ridden city where anything goes. Boy, Neon, however, isn't Starfield's only den of decadence. Throughout space across these settled systems, one can find opulent pleasure yachts where the galaxy's affluent and influential. Y'all, this is all like in the game. Space isn't all fun. In like the game these multiple out. worlds Beyond and multiple, it's all in the game, y'all. That's how big this game is. Claimed space. Home to a number of vicious groups looking to prey on unsuspecting. And this is my favorite part right here, I can't lie. 
whether that group be the Great Serpent worshipping religious cultists of House Varun, or the bloodthirsty pirates of the Crimson Fleet. This disparate group of pirate captains are based out of their own space base, known as the Key, and they have been causing havoc for both the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective. Okay, well, yeah, they're pirates. Their growing so, yeah. influence has that's seen a, the pirates gain a foothold in multiple systems. Work hard! They gotta work and territory. Ooh. Some more civilized groups you may encounter in these settled systems include various mega corporations and Constellation, a mythical band of the last great space explorers that seems to be the game's main Bro, faction. they got all Described types of Todd Howard as worlds. Indiana Jones meets the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. This group Milky Way Galaxies, like, <laughs> are concerned this game with is huge, the biggest bro. questions of the universe and addressing once and for all, what's out there? And this See is what's out we there. We, we're going to figure it out. Fully customizable player character is recruited into Constellation following an event that appears to take place at the very start of the game, in which our player character interacts with a strange alien artifact whilst working as a new recruit for the Argos Extractors Company. It would seem that our character ah. has the unique ability to interact with these mysterious artifacts. As a result, oh. we join Constellation thing to like help bed them rock. discover more about the advanced intelligence that created these relics. Hinting that, well, yes, there will be basic animal wildlife on many of the worlds we visit, the game will be lacking in other intelligent alien species for the most part. I mean, but obviously, because like, we, we don't, about the you know, characters we can only use our imagination well, when, like when it comes to aliens. up to you, as when you create your player character, who is known simply as the Spacefarer, you can choose from a number of varied backgrounds that provide some Ooh. backstory. Oh, look at her hairline! Did y'all see that? Skills. On the screen now is a list of the her hairline was and crisp. we have at present, and they all have some effect on interactions and quests. For example, if a player chooses the chef backstory, you will unlock certain dialogue where NPCs question which food critic you annoyed to end up in cold, grimy parts. Oh, no, Gordon Ramsay. Or if you choose the beast hunter Ooh, this background, looks nice. you run across an NPC in need of an exterminator, who you can then charge extra, owing due to your specialized background. I ain't charging nothing. You do nothing for free, buddy. these backgrounds, the spacefarer may also select up to three optional character traits that both affect the gameplay and provide a number of I can, of like, select any three? Items. This includes an in-game home with accompanying mortgage, affinity with certain factions, and even an annoying but slightly familiar adoring fan, who will show up randomly and jabber at you incessantly. This menace. Also providing you with gifts. And you can even get rid of I these knew I seen him from somewhere, bro. <clears throat> tasks. Joining Constellation doesn't just progress the story, however. It also provides you with a wide variety of characters that can join you as companions and develop relationships with the player that are more complex and dynamic than in previous Hey, Sarah, that's games. my girl, y'all. Companions will now be capable of both liking and even loving the player character, whilst also disliking certain actions you take and temporarily Aww, shut up. shoulder. Not Among you, the I'm talking about like the, the actual so game. are Vasco, a versatile expeditionary robot from Lunar Ooh. Robotics, Sarah Morgan, an ex-soldier hey, who leads Constellation, Matteo, a theologian who believes in advanced aliens, Noel, okay. a scientist and Sarah's protege, Walter, the wealthy backer of Constellation, Vlad, a former pirate, Sam Coe, an ex -cowboy. Nah, he's a former and Bat, bodybuilder. He appears to be some kind of engineer. Yet perhaps the most significant characters in Starfield that we are yet to mention are your very own starship and the outposts you can construct. Yes, yeah, so we get our very own Both ship. Fully customizable nice, let's with go. various modules you can mix and match, letting you take to the stars in style on board your personalized roaming base. And we get Different to build our own too. Each have their own unique aesthetic, and depending on the size of the ship be it a nimble fighter or cargo hauling freighter you'll need crew members this is truly like an open world game y'all companions from constellation like for real new recruits that can well be found open space game whatever you guys want to call it each man bringing unique skills suited for specific assignments on your ship or at one of your outposts and we also now know how your ship gets around the vast distances of space doing Look so that, via bro. its grav drive a system that folds space around the ship and jumps from system to system Allowing you to get lost in countless adventures for days on end. Bro, because this game is sure to be great. packed with much more story and lore than we've discussed in this video. It'll be filled with side quests and stories scattered across the vastness of space. Woo! Whether it's a ship of settlers lost in space hey, how you for doing? centuries, or pirate infested bases that need clearing up. Bro, I love Honestly, the shooting in this, bro. I was doubtful at first that the game would live up to the hype. 
And yeah, sure, it'll probably be buggy at launch. It's a yeah, Bethesda of course. game that's after a, yeah, all. That's just, but from that's everything any game. I've seen in the Direct, I feel they've knocked it out of the park and I can't wait to get out there and explore. What traits or backgrounds will you select for your spacefarer? How will you design your ship? And will you help the United Boy, Colonies unite this the is, galaxy? Oh my to goodness, ships look at that. And fleet? Let me know down in the comments and make sure to subscribe. For Shout out to uh, Laura Torres for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy my reaction to this. Make sure you guys go check out and subscribe to Laura Torres' channel. And uh, other than that, I'm really excited for it. Uh, I think it comes out the 6th of September. So yeah, again, I'm pretty excited for the game. I'll see you guys later, Frank, when I'm out. And...